Our students have been investigating invasive species, and now we have a collection of those investigations, those researches, and those exciting information. Sit back, relax, and let's learn about invasive species. Who knows, one may be in your backyard somewhere. Hi, I'm a giant hogweed plant. My favorite hobby is burning people. I can grow up to five meters tall and 10 centimeters in diameter. I have big, deeply cut leaves, and I flower big white flowers, and I have dangerous sap on my stem. The sap on my stem makes human skin vulnerable to UV light and doles out third degree burns. I've been spreading across Canada, coast, and I've been spotting in Ontario. Have a nice day. The sea lamprey, the ocean-going vampire. It is an eel-like fish with rows and rows of horny teeth to latch on its unfortunate prey. In the middle of its mouth is the deadly weapon. Its tongue nips at the flesh of a fish, it usually eats white fish, and makes a hit hole. Then it starts sucking. Its eyes are on the side of its head, and its seven holes for gills are behind the eyes. Once born, it stays underground feeding on microscopic animals for three to 17 years. It lives along the Atlantic coast of North America, Europe, and in the Great Lakes. It can grow up to five, three feet and weigh up to 5.5 pounds. It can live up to nine years. I am an Asian carp. I took over rivers and lakes. And right now, some of us are in the Great Lakes. They're trying to stop us from going in the Great Lakes by building walls. We just jump over them. We don't have any natural predators, so we don't die that much from being eaten. I sometimes kill or knock out a human when they scare me with their boat engine. Then I jump three meters in the air and I might hit them with my 30 to 110 pound body and two to four feet body. I'm a round gobby. I originally came from Europe and I'm native to the Black and Caspian Sea. People make this weird law that if you catch me, you have to kill me due to overpopulation. But I kind of help the environment too, because if I get a chance, I can eat up to 72 zebra mussels a day, which, if you didn't know, is another invasive species. The only fish that I know that can eat me is a smallmouth bass. This is a sea lamprey. It is a parasitic fish that affected the Great Lakes during the 1940s. It clings onto other fish and sucks the blood out of its victim. It devastated local fish and almost made all the fisheries in the Great Lakes close. Uh -huh. My name is Alex. This will be a little invasive species called the Aquanide honeybee, a lot of people call it the killer bee. Killer bees are a breed of African and European bee. The African killer bee was aggressive, so scientists bred with the European bees so can be less aggressive and produce more honey. But I went wrong. The bees started to deal with 26 forms of skates and started going to North America in 1985. They can chase us 66 meters, while normal bees can only chase us 46 meters. They, they also killed about 100 humans. Hello, my name is James, and I will be talking about the Asian carp. The Asian carp is an aggressive species. It is also invasive in lakes. People are worried that the Asian carp will be entering the Great Lakes. The Asian carps are really dangerous because one species jumps out of the water and tries to bite whatever they can. The Asian carps reproduce very easy. The Asian carp can weigh what to 110 pounds. In conclusion, we need to stop the Asian carp. An invasive species that is a hazard to Florida is the Argentine black and white tegu. Its native habitat is rainforests in South America and is let out into the wild because most tegus are bought as pets. The citizens lose interest as the tegus gain full size. They grow to four feet long. These animals have extremely acidic stomachs and jaws capable of turning human fingers into powder. Luckily, they are harmless to humans and animal control is working to remove them. This plant is called the purple loosestrife and is an invasive species. It invades wetlands, roadsides, and disturbed areas. This plant was first introduced in the wetlands native to Europe and Asia and were then brought to North America in the 1800s. North American governments have already approved the release of two beetles called the Galaruchula beetles. They are natural enemies to purple loosestrife and have already decreased the effects of this plant. My name is Ethan, and today I'll be talking about sea lampreys. Sea lampreys are an invasive species. Sea lampreys use a suction cup mouth and sharp teeth to attach themselves to the body of a fish. It sucks blood out of the fish. If the fish survive the attack of the lamprey, they are left with a large hole in their body and an infection that often leads to death. Sea lampreys first start, start as larvae. After some time, they turn into adult sea lampreys. 
The sea band bridge invented the Great Lakes in the early 20th century by people shipping camels. One sea band bridge could kill an average of 18 kilograms of fish in their whole life cycle. Bar bridge can grow up to 18 centimeters long, and the adults can grow up to 30 to 76 centimeters long. So when you see a sea band bridge, kill it. Thanks for the city. I'm around Gobi, and I'll be talking to you about my species. We are native to Eastern Europe and the Middle East. More than 2,000 species of Gobi can be found in marines and fresh water. We feed on mollusks, crustaceans, worms, fish eggs, zebra mussels, small fish, and insect larvae. We were accidentally introduced into the North American Great Lakes by water transfer and cargo ships. In 1990, we were considered an invasive species. We attack fish eggs, we team up and distract the mother fish. One distracts the mother and the other takes the fish and quickly swims away. We are also kept in aquariums as house pets. Hi, I am a lamprey eel. I love invading the Great Lakes. I live in the Great Lakes. I like feeding the blood of other lake dwelling fish. My complete life cycle usually lasts five to nine years. My devastating impact of the Great Lakes for Aboriginal fisheries in the 1940s and 50s and led Canada and the United States to form the Great Lakes Factory in 1955. I used my sucker mask, sharp teeth, and wrapping time to get my food by sucking blood. Hi, my name is Isabella and I'm a stout. Just in case you don't know, I'm a small animal from the Mustelidae family and I am highly invasive. The main place my species invaded is New Zealand. My species invasion caused a rapid drop in some native birds' populations, thanks to my species hunting them. The reason my species ended up in New Zealand is because people brought us to New Zealand in the 1880s to stop the rapid growth of the rabbit population. Hello class, today my presentation is about the invasive species, the Burmese python. The Burmese python is a snake that is native to Southeast Asia. Pet owners brought the Burmese python to the United States, but soon they realized that they grow too big. So the pet owners released their Burmese pythons into the Everglades National Park in the wild. Now you might be asking, why are they an invasive species? Burmese pythons literally eat everything. Nothing eats it, so their population has been growing. These snakes are also taking food other animals need. Some animals have to find new homes and others also starve to death. The Everglades National Park also is home to some endangered animals. So the Burmese python could possibly make some animals go extinct. So scientists are placing tracking devices on some snakes to see where they go. They are also tracking the snakes with dogs and then trapping them. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm a sea lamprey, and I'm an invasive species. Invasive means to invade, and an invasive species is an invading animal that doesn't belong where it is. We lay about 30,000 to 100,000 eggs a year in the Great Lake, so that means there are a lot of us. We eat fish by sucking blood from our sharp teeth. We eat about 40 pounds of fish in our lifetime. Thanks, and have a nice day. This is kudzu, nicknamed the vine that ate the south. It grows over one foot or 30 centimeters in one day. That's more than two meters in one week. Plus the fact that kudzu is very hard to remove, it can damage cars, pull down trees, and once even caused a power outage. No one was injured, but a lot of people were freaked out by the mysterious plant. Luckily, kudzu has not reached Canada yet, but just in case, be warned. Hello, I'm a European starling. Eugene Schiffen brought us to North America. He wanted to bring as many of Shakespeare's birds as possible. We fight other birds, kick them out of, out of the nest, and carry diseases. It's not our choice to be invasive, it's just life. Although we are invasive, we are extremely dazzling. Uh-oh, time's up. See ya! Maple leaf drive is an invasive plant. It was introduced by European sailing ships in the early 1800s. They take away nutrients from plants and shed their habitats. They can produce 2.7 million seeds each year, grow 50 stems, and can grow 2 meters tall. But there are two types of beetles that naturally eat purple loose drive. You can help by removing purple loose drive in your garden. I'm an Asian carp. I was originated in Asia, and I'm a threat to the Great Lakes of Canada. We are brought to the south part of the U.S., but because of floods, we are carried to the Missouri River. We are now hurting the native fish by eating all of the algae. The biggest carp can grow to be 100 pounds. 
Adrian Carp can hurt humans by flying 38 miles per hour and hitting you in the head. He can also spawn three times a year and can grow about 300,000 eggs, so be aware. Gray squirrels are invasive to British Columbia, but are native to Central and Eastern North America. They were imported because people thought of them as fashionable additions to their estates. This is a problem because they are making their cousins, the red squirrels, endangered. They are destroying the trees by eating all the bark and leaving them vulnerable. They are also eating birds, eggs, and nestlings. They, al they eat a lot more than the red squirrels and, are, and survive better that way. We have to stop them. I am a European darling. I lived in North America since 1890. I came from Europe. I live in a flock with 3,000 other darlings. I live in most countries around the world. I live in cities, farms, suburban, and urban areas. I eat monkey insects and berries, and berries and vegetables. This means I eat farmer crops and orchard fruit. Okay, other birds and steal their nests. People are trying to get rid of me by using dead nests, bird soft bird espro, or shooting me. Lionfish. Pretty much everything about lionfish is bad. This invasive species is one of the deadliest of its kind. Even though it is small, it has a big impact on the ocean. It is now known for killing coral reefs and fish that protect the coral reefs are being killed due to lionfish. Nowadays, people all over the world are trying to kill lionfish in derbies, businesses, businesses like food or science, to eat and to study them, to figure out how to kill them. People believe that a couple release them into the Atlantic Ocean. Lionfish have a very rare and unique way of hunting. They hunt in groups and they each get a fair share of the food. They love to hunt small and baby fish. One by one, they pick them off and into the stomach they go. Their spines are poisonous, so no predator can eat it without getting hurt. But it's, ra but it's rare for the predator. I am a tea lamprey. I eat fish. I am native to the Atlantic Ocean, not the Great Lake. I entered the Great Lake system one ta 18,000 to man-made lock and shipping channel back and forth my round mouth for one second to fool for shop horn snap teeth and serve round and rotten tongue. People have found Burmese pythons in K Largo August 2 slash 3 slash 23 2016 and no one knows how they hatch there. I would like to know more about how they can swallow a crocodile. Hello, I am the Asian carp. I am a type of fish that is native to Eastern Russia and China. I am an invasive species that was introduced to North America and Europe. I am a big problem because I have a really big appetite and I can reproduce quickly. I can lay up to 300,000 eggs. I also make clean water into murky water so I destroy other species of fish. My population is growing in large numbers every day. Apparently people say it's bad if I get into your clean and fresh water. They have tried to give me and my species to people to eat but apparently I don't taste good. Raccoons are a medium-sized mammal that is native to North America. Raccoons weigh 3.5 to 9 kilograms. Its grayish coat mostly keeps the raccoon warm in cold weather. Two of the raccoon's most offensive features are its front paws and its facial mask. Raccoons are noted for their intelligence. They are able to remember the solution for tasks up to three years. Raccoons are native to the country, but they have invaded the city over the years. The red and polar fire ant is an invasive species that hit the right of the USA in 1940. Its scientific name is Solopisus invicta. Its nickname is Reefer. Did you know that an estimated average of Americans getting stung is 40 million stings a year? One colony of ants has 500,000 ants in it. There's three types of reefer, the worker, male, and the queen. The worker ant lifespan is 180 days. Did you know the queen lays up to 1,000 to 5,000 eggs a day? I'm an Asian carp. I'm an invasive species because I went from Asia to America because of floods. This is a huge problem because I'm distracting boats and I'm eating other fish's eggs. I weigh 110 pounds. I, am, I can break someone's jaw if I hit them. I can jump 38 miles an hour. I'm growing. Us carps can lay 300,000 eggs at once.